Boy. Sir. The Dwarf King made his subjects hunt dragons and other monsters for him? Some king, huh? Father, you may want to see this. Looks like that lever over there was free. You attack. I know, but it feels wrong to keep something caged like this. Hmm. Your emotions again, boy. You can't hear their thoughts. I can. Ignore them and ready yourself. Okay. thinking now well nothing but he was grateful to die in battle instead of rotting in a cage your skill is improving you fought well atreus thank you father
Ah, oh, fresh air feels good. So, what happened to all the people who lived here? Follow the clues, boy. Right, right. Follow the clues. 
Okay, so there was an evil dwarf king, and he made all these people hunt monsters. The people put them in cages, and then... And then I don't know. Hmm. We are missing a clue. Back inside the castle? No. There is nothing more for us inside. But stay alert for Chain Dragons, boy. Perhaps you'll uncover more about this dwarf king. Well, here it is. It's gotta have a weak point. Somewhere. Focused. His father's grave. Find anything good? Perhaps. Father, we're going to bring down that statue, right? planning on doing this himself.
laptop. Guards do not fall this easily, boy. I know, I know. I was just joking. Nor are they a joking matter. Sorry. Okay. Obviously, the marriage to Odin didn't last. But how did Fran end up a hermit in the woods? Oh, that was a singular piece of cruelty, even for Odin. As if the marriage wasn't punishment enough. Freya was better to him than he deserved. She stuck it out through all manner of indignity, all in the name of maintaining peace and safety for her people. But Odin's madness, his tyranny, his corruption of her magics, it became more than she could stomach, and at long last she broke it off. Odin's wrath was fierce, and his curses upon her were more than she dared to fear. But her magic was so much stronger than his. After so much time together, he knew her vulnerabilities and exploited them to craft curses she could never break. Oh, like not being able to leave Midgard. Worse still, he robbed her of her warrior spirit. Freya cannot fight, even to defend herself. No living thing may she harm by blade nor spell. In a world this belligerent, what choice does she have but isolation? Poor Freya. I guess if I was her, I'd spit in your face too. Aye, lad. So would I. Let's do it. Kid, what's it gonna be? Another time, then. Sure, I'm open. Hope you got what you wanted. What you need, kid? What else? more you need. Oh boy, have you got some cleaving ahead of you. I want to tell you. Father, why did the gods cause so much trouble for us? Because that is their nature. But with all that power, you would think at least some of them would try to make life better for people. And yet, the gods continue to spread misery. This is life, boy.
The mirror. There was a shrine about a giant lady with lots of books and divisions. Ah, that would be Groa, knowledge keeper. She was a gifted sorceress who gathered every tome of arcane wisdom she could find in the realms, augmenting her powers of prophecy that she might find her lost husband, Arvandil. But it was not her husband she would glimpse in her visions, for it was Groa, seeing longer and farther than any before or since, who witnessed Ragnarok, the end and the beginning. When Odin caught word of her ultimate prophecy, he maneuvered to obtain her knowledge and hoard it for himself. Groa knew Odin as a long-time patron of her services, and so she welcomed him into her library as a friend. What she did not know is that Odin himself was behind her husband's disappearance, having used his enchantments to conceal his death at Thor's hands from her sight. Smiling, jealous Odin took her by the throat, and with his very hands he stole her library and her life for his own. I always knew Odin was bad, but that's just... Ruthless? Barbaric? Heartless? That's Odin. In fact, we would do well to sit here in silence for the next few moments and reflect on Odin's capacity for cruelty. And so... Let longer. The statue stands no longer, spirit. Then my bond of this realm is severed, and I am off to find the real god of thunder. He will know retribution. My deepest gratitude. Off he goes. Brave guy, going to look for Thor on his own. He is a fool. What did the spirit leave us? An offering to one of the gods. Can we use it? No, but perhaps the dwarves can.